All right, hey everybody, my name is Shadow. Now you may remember a couple of weeks ago, we did an unboxing of the Audio-Technica AT2020 Cardioid Condenser Mic, and uh, I got a request to do a review of that microphone, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be taking a more in-depth look at the AT2020. So to start off with, we're gonna talk about the build quality on that microphone. What is, it, what is it like when you take it out of the box? Now, as I just mentioned, I did an unboxing of this, of this microphone, and if you didn't see that, I'm gonna have a link to that down in the description, and you should probably go watch that first, and then you'll have a much better idea of what we're talking about in this video. But moving on, um, when you first take the microphone out of the box and hold it in your hand, it's, in, it's incredibly solid. It's, all, it's an all metal construction, and um, it feels very, very quality, and it just screams professionalism as, as soon as you hold it in your hand. Now, in terms of physical size, we could compare this microphone to something that's also pretty well known, uh, like the Blue Yeti microphone. And um, it's, it's a little bit smaller than that. It's not a lot smaller than that, but I would say that the Yeti microphone uh, is actually a pretty bulky and heavy microphone, whereas the AT2020 is very, sm it's, it's not small, but it's slender, it's much lighter, and um, it's just more streamlined. Uh, it doesn't have all the controls all over it that the Yeti microphones have, but um, it does have exactly what it needs, and that is just a microphone and an XLR output. Now there are two different versions of this microphone available. There is the XLR version, which we have here, and there's also a USB version of this microphone, but that, that version is um, a bit more in terms of price. Uh, however, it does come with its own stand, whereas the XLR version does not come with a stand. You need to have some kind of mount to put it on, for example, uh, the one right behind me here is a Neewer uh, desk boom arm, which actually just mounts directly to the desk. Uh, so you already need to have something like that to put the XLR version of the microphone on. Now USB microphones like the Blue Yeti microphone or like the USB version of the AT2020 are pretty much standalone packages and you don't need any additional equipment. Uh, to, to operate them, you just take them out of the package, plug in the USB cable, and you're good to go. However, this is the XLR version of the mic, and so it's slightly more complicated than that because we can't just plug an XLR cable directly into the computer. So we need something to go from XLR to USB, basically, and that's where something like the Scarlett Solo audio interface comes in. Now, I also did an unboxing of the Scarlett Solo, and if you didn't see that, I'll also have a link to that in the description, and you can go check that out. And if anybody would like to see a review of that, you can let me know down in the comments, and uh, we can probably have that coming up on the channel later. But getting back to the point, uh, you need to have an audio interface to use an XLR microphone with your computer. Now, you could use something like the, the, Zoom, uh, the Zoom H4n, which um, supports XLR microphones with 48 volt phantom power. But um, for hooking it up to your PC, audio interfaces are really the way to go because this microphone does require 48 volt phantom power and you need to have some way to supply that to the microphone. So you can't use something like an XLR to USB adapter, for example, that will not power this microphone. Now the AT2020 is really an entry level studio microphone for professional or prosumer use. So um, it doesn't actually feature any uh, volume controls or gain controls or anything like that on the microphone. Those things are all going to be found on your audio interface. For example, if you're using something like the Scarlett Solo, you will have a, a, an independent gain control and uh, volume control for your output to your headphones or your, or your monitors or whatever it is you're using. That will all be on your audio interface. So you, if you're used to using something like the Blue Yeti microphone, that has those controls right on the microphone, uh, this is a little bit different. It's a little bit higher level than that, so just be aware of that if, you, if you're looking at this microphone. Now the AT2020 does not come with a lot of accessories, um, but it does come with something uh, kind of unique, and that is this cool leather bag with uh, an Audio-Technica logo on it. Uh, I'll hold it in the frame here so you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, this is a very nice quality leather bag um, and this is also where you'll find the mounting bracket for the microphone, which will attach to your stand or your boom arm or whatever it is you're going to attach your microphone to. Um, but those are the only accessories that you're going to find in the box with this microphone. And again, I did an unboxing video of this microphone and there's a link in the description if you wanna go watch that. 
which I recommend you do. So now we're going to get to the part that I'm sure most of you have been waiting for, and that's where we're going to talk about the actual sound quality of the microphone. How good is it? Is it good for YouTube? Is it good for Twitch? Is it good for music? Is it good for whatever it is you're going to do with it? Well, the answer to all of those things is yes. It is amazing. It's an amazing microphone. I would recommend it for pretty much anything. It has, it, it has a great uh, frequency response. Uh, there's, I'll, I'll actually post a link to, the, to a page where you can find out uh, all the information, all the technical information about the microphone uh, and everything. But let me just say, yeah, it's amazing. It's an amazing quality mic. And um, let's go to a sound test. All right, so this is the part of the video where I am gonna test the audio quality of this microphone. So what you're hearing right now is actually me speaking directly into the AT2020. So this is the kind of audio quality that you can expect to hear from that. And uh, you can probably see right here, uh, I'm actually just running Audacity and I'm just recording this straight onto the computer uh, through my Scarlett Solo audio interface. So uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty much the kind of audio quality that you can expect from the AT2020 and um, I think it's it's pretty amazing in my opinion. So um, let's move on to conclusion guy part of the video. And yeah, I am really impressed with the quality of this microphone. So as you can hear for yourself, this is a pretty amazing quality microphone. I really didn't do too much editing to that. All, all I did was remove the background noise. I did not enhance the audio in any other way. That's pretty much the raw audio that you're hearing. Uh, again, all I did was remove the background noise with Audacity. So that's gonna conclude my review of the Audio-Technica AT2020 Cardioid Condenser Mic. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this review because I enjoyed making it for you. It was really fun. So let me know what you thought down in the comments. And um, if you wanna know, do I recommend this microphone? I absolutely recommend this microphone for whatever you wanna do with it. It is amazing. So. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Let me know what microphones you guys are using. Let me know if there's anything you want to see coming up in the future. And um, guys, that is it for this video. My name is Shadow, and I will see you guys in the next one.